So my grandpa passed away last night in Farmsome, of course, not real life, not real life Farmsome. And it was 11 o'clock at night and he was, you know, we were, the family was there and stuff. We were all, we were all bedside and stuff. And he was, he was telling, uh, he, he told me something that he said he's never told anybody besides people way back then, but he's never told anybody for like 40 years. And it was 1961, he said. He was 20 years old and in 1959, he was 18 years old and he went and bought a brand new 1959 F100. And it was the first year they made 4x4 on this truck. First year they made 4x4. And then he, he drove it. He, he got a loan. He could barely afford the down payment. He drove it around and stuff. And then two years later, he was selling stuff he shouldn't have been selling. And he was running from the cops up in the Kentucky Hills. And it was at night. And the lights weren't that good back in 1961. And he said he ran into a shed to where the truck was stuck. It was stuck on a rock or something like that. And it was stuck. And so what he did is he tossed tree branches over the truck and just ran out of there. And he never has went back there just because of a mental fear of going back to the truck. He's never been back to the truck ever. He has the location of the truck on the map though. And he was like, you know what? You got the shop. You got the custom shop. You've been doing well. Go back and get this truck and restore it. We're going back and we're going to go pick up this truck. It's a 20 hour drive over to Kentucky. Oh, it is going to be, it is going to be a ways. We're doing this. We're doing this for grandpa squad, man. We're doing this for grandpa squad. I'm doing it for him. And so I got to decide, I, and this is going to be like one of the, uh, th there's a lot to talk about this through the series, but basically uh, I'll, I'll get to it. I'll get to it as we're driving. As we got a long ways to go, but I got to decide what truck to take. Now, as far as the shop, I know. Grandpa just, Grandpa Squad just passed away last night and stuff. And so like everything is just unorganized. I know it's, it's all over the place, but we got to go get this truck right now. And so I don't have time to clean this stuff up. Uh, it's 6 a.m. I was like, I thought about it and stuff. I'm like, I'm going to get that truck. We're going to get that truck. So I got to figure out what I want to take. Now I've been thinking about this all night kind of, and I'm like, do we take, I, I got a couple trailers here. First of all, I was going to take the big tech trailer gooseneck with the Cummins. I was going to take that setup over there to pick up this truck and he said it was up through the hills it's gonna be hilly so i was like you know what cummins is gonna do good and stuff but then i realized you know what if the truck doesn't start it's it's we're gonna need a winch to get it up on the trailer there's no way i'm gonna be able to do it with cummins i'm gonna drive 20 hours there and then figure out i need a ton of help and i'm not gonna have the support i need so i was like well, let's take the service truck the freightliner i figured you know it's a good truck it's way we're gonna burn a lot more diesel you know driving there and stuff but I was like, I got the Freightliner service truck. And then what I can do is I can get the Big Tech's bumper hitch trailer. And we can load it up on here. And this will work perfect. Because if anything goes wrong, I can fix it up. I can get her started. And we also have the magic hook. The, the service hook on the side. Which should, which should honestly work good. But the thing is, to be honest, got to be honest with you guys. I don't fully know how to use this in Farm Sim. Okay, so we're going to fire up the Freightliner and get going. But I was thinking, I was like, you know what? I wonder what he did about that loan because he 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 didn't own the truck outright. He did, I mean, the bank technically owned the truck and stuff. I wonder what he told the bank back there what happened to the truck because we're about to go pick up this truck and there's no way the bank took it back as collateral if the bank... I don't. I have no idea what he told the bank even. So we're going to take the Freightliner and it is going to be a long, long time before I make it uh, back to the shop. It is going to be a ways. We got a 20 hour trip there, 20 hour trip back. That is going to be a lot of time thinking I'm going to probably sleep over at a motel. Actually, we could honestly, do I have room in here? I could probably, honestly, I might just, if the temperature's right, I might just sleep in the back right there. Might just throw down a little blanket and just sleep right there. That's like a perfect little cozy area. I think I might just do that, but let's get in the road. First blinkers are going and we are going into the sunrise. Well, I'm already an hour into the trip and we are just, it is, I don't know, just listen to podcasts. It's, it's pretty boring guys. We got a long, it's just hills. It's literally just rolling hills, rolling hills. Oh, it's 10 o'clock. Oh shoot. We better hit the road. Okay. So it got late last night. We are super, we are super close, uh, to the spot on the map. If you guys look here. The green spot that he has marked here is where the truck's supposed to be. I don't know if he came up through these hills or what and then hit the shed. I have no idea, but this is where he marked it to be. And we currently are right here. So we are not far. This is also uh, Fenton. Fenton something. Fenton. It's just another Fenton something. It was by uh, Stevie. Stevie made this map 
fantastic map, and I'm pretty sure it was taken from uh, the base map in the game, uh, the European map. It, like the roads seem exactly alike and stuff, which is kind of cool. He just changed it a little bit, but this is the spot he marked. So we have to make it all the way up there, which is going to be fun. I, oh, dude, it was, I was like, you know what? I'm going to make this. I'm going to make this. And I was like, you know what? It's crazy dark out. I, we're, we're not going to make it. Why not just wait until daytime and stuff? But we were so close. I was driving straight till 2 a.m. And then I was like, nah, okay, we got to get a uh, blinker on. Okay, we'll follow this dump truck here. This is kind of cool though. I'm I'm really sure this is taken from the European map. I'm I'm pretty sure like the roadways. Uh, if I showed you guys the shop back there, you guys would definitely think so too. I feel like, but I gotta have my map open the whole time as we drive this. This dude, my heart is pounding right now. This is insane. Nobody knows about it too. Who owns the land? That's my question. Like, am I gonna be trespassing on private property or what? Like, how does this happen? And how does nobody see this truck for like, what, forty? years that my math is definitely 40 50 years this truck has been sitting here if it even there's no way it starts obviously I, i'll have to figure out a way to start her and stuff but uh we are so close and my heart is pounding baby my heart is pounding okay so it looks like the road up there is gonna be a crazy long road it's okay so uh, there's see there's hills he somehow he got around the hills back in 61 and I mean, obviously the mountains were still there. I'm going to pass this car quick because there's no way I'm sitting behind it as we're going up these hills. But I'm... Oh, shoot. <laughs> oh, dude. Oh, no. There's not coming traffic. What is this? How am I supposed to get around this stuff? Oh, we got to make it up there, though. Okay, so I think here is where we head off-road. First time in 20 hours I've been off-road, and we are so close right now. Now, before we get there, I got to give a big shout-out to David from Expendables Mod. Okay, what way do we go here? Do we go right? There's so many trails to find here. I got to... Okay, just go straight and follow this trail. Okay, we'll head straight here. But I gotta give a huge shout out to David from Expendables Modding. He's the one that, he's the legend that was behind most of this truck. Now there may be a ton of other people involved that had wheels, tires, other things like that. Uh, I apologize if I don't mention you guys. Anybody who had any part in, thank you. You guys are legendary. Thank you so much for making this sweet truck. Uh, Expendables Modding, I'm, I'm saying it. They're, 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 they're my, my number one for top mods. Honestly, top mod group. Okay, dude, this is getting sketchy through here. So we got a little shack through here, and it's starting to get rocky through here. I knew it would coming up through Kentucky here. Okay, this is where it gets rough. Look out. Uh, what way do I go, though? I think I follow the main path, which the main path goes left. That right path goes somewhere else. It must be, honestly, these must be like logging roads and stuff up through here. I have no idea, but I'm just going to keep following this road. Uh, don't get muddy. It's starting to get a little wet through here. If I get stuck and I get so close to it and we can't bring this truck back, that is going to be horrible. Oh, but one, okay. One thing about this truck while we're making our way up here is for, okay. Speaking of farm sim, not like this story, but farm sim is like trucks like these, what Expendables Mine's doing. I feel like it's bringing so many, like not, not old people, but just older people than me in here that like used to like loves classic cars and stuff like the f100 and there's a lot of classic cars i know david over there david uh, there's two different davids i guess uh david chaplin has been doing a ton of classic cars david f i guess i don't know if he wants me to say his last name or not david f over expendables has been doing uh do uh, was the one that did this truck too okay i'm following the road it is wait please make sure okay we're on the road we are so close right now whoo you can tell it's been a while since somebody's been on this road even through here. It's starting to get really hilly through here too. Oh, suspense is building. Oh my gosh. If this truck is here, first of all, what if my grandpa was just like a prankster and he was like, got him. And there's like a little sign here that there's no truck and stuff. And the, the whole story was just a, a fake. Uh, where do we go from here? It's just an open field. Go, go right. Okay, I got to back up. All right, I can just make this turn. So we got to go right through here. Oh, here we go. Now, where is the truck through here? Okay, we are close. We are really close. I'm going to keep pulling up through here. Oh, man, dude, we are... It should be up to the right. There's the shed. Don't tell me that's a shed. I think that's a shed. I'm pretty sure that's a shed through here. Ooh. Okay. If the truck... He said the truck's on the side of it. The truck's on the side of it. There's trees. There's, there's, there's a vehicle. There's a vehicle there. There's a vehicle there. Right on the t side of it. No way. The F 
100. Oh my gosh. First of all, it is, look at this thing. It is so rusty. Dude, this thing is just caked with rust on it. But the, <laughs> this thing is just, oh my gosh. Look at this. The rust on it, it, I mean, the hitch and everything's fine. The exhaust is fine. But this thing is just caked with rust. The stickers and some of the logos and stuff are fine on it. Dane. Texaco. Texaco Motor Oil Company. I wonder if he was working. He was working for them at one point. He must have been working for them at this point. Toss their sign on there. But the thing is, okay, little farming similar thing. I was trying to get this truck really, I shouldn't add this in, but I was trying to get this truck extremely dirty. And I have a video, I have a... I have an Instagram story of me running the truck, and what I, just did, I it, it took me forever to get this dirty, and for some reason, the dirt's gone, unfortunately. But uh, the tires were crazy dirty and stuff. The tires are really clean right now. Okay, we have to pull this truck. Uh, first of all, is this truck gonna start here? I'm gonna actually. I don't even want to shut this off. Say I have horrible luck, and since we're way up in the mountains, it doesn't turn on. That would be horrible. I'm not. I'm just gonna keep this truck run, but. What we need to get to do, oh, dude, we need to chop this tree down. Okay, I'm going to start by chopping this down. This is insane. The Ford F100, this was the first year of 4x4 that Ford came out with. This is crazy. Oh, dude, I, this is going to be, this is, this, honestly, this is, uh, this is crazy. We're going to, we're definitely going to restore this thing. So I'm going to try cutting this tree down as we go. I'm not going to, okay, oh, shoot, she's coming down. I'm going to just take off these branches as we go. That tree literally grew through that truck, almost. I'll cut that down. Um, this is another branch he had here. Chuck that off. Okay, honestly, after 40 years, do you think these branches would, like, start... <laughs> especially since they're dead and stuff, they, they wouldn't be green? <laughs> First of all, they probably wouldn't be green after 40 years and stuff. But, I mean, the tree grew through here. Oh, and we'll get that off there. Okay, the truck is cleared. Look at this beaut! <laughs> She's the babe, Clark. Okay, I gotta get her up on the trailer, and we gotta get her. First of all, we gotta get her started. There's no way this thing started. An F1, F100. How's the interior? The roof should, honestly should just be rusted out and stuff. Water should probably be dripping through the interior, but the interior seems literally. I wonder how many miles are on it. That's a big thing. I wonder if they had uh, an odometer back then. Okay, so I'm gonna try cranking it over. After 40 years sitting, there is no possible way this truck will even crank over. I'll try her though. Yeah, there's nothing. There is literally nothing to this truck. Okay, what we're going to have to do, I'm going to have to back up the trailer here to get this on here. Now, this magical winch that would be perfect for this because I could grab the hitch of this truck. And actually, maybe, I, I don't know how to use the winch, unfortunately. But I could grab the winch and then just drag it on the service trailer. And I might kind of try to do that. Let's see. I'll see if I can get that working properly. Actually, just shut off the truck. But I'm going to pull the ramps around here. The, I mean, the best thing probably right now to do would just be to drag this truck out of there. Because there's no way we're loading there. we got to somehow just drag it out of there. Uh, it's going to be tough to load it there. So I'm going to unhook the trailer quick. We'll drop the trailer. And I'm going to see if I can if I can get this hooked to the hitch. I have a feeling this is going to be rough. And this is... At least we have the service truck to at least try to move this here. We may have to cut down some trees as we go. But I'm going to try to get around to this truck. We'll try to winch her. Oh, shoot. We're stuck on a tree there. I'm going to try to winch the, the hitch of it. Okay, I'm going to move this branch quick. Branch is in the way. Get this baby out of there. There we go. And now I'll, if the boom extends that way. Dude, I wonder how the, so this shed. This shed has honestly been here for like ever. I'll extend the boom out. We'll try to. I don't know how I'm going to drag it. I got to. Ah, oh, shoot. This isn't going to work. It's going to be tough to drag it through here. So I'm going to unfold the truck. Get the boom. Try to attach this. Okay, I got the truck lifted up. I got the truck off the ground right now. Okay. Nice. Nice. So at least I got the truck off the ground. Now what I'm going to try to do from here is probably try to... I don't know if we can move the... I'm going to... You know what I'll have to do is I'll have to uh, fold in these, pull the truck forward, and then move this arm around. So I don't know if this is going to work though. I'll try to... It, it, it's probably not going to... Oh. I got to move the arm along with it to drag it. And I, I have a feeling that's not going to work because the, the winch or the hook isn't actually hooked the best. Darn it. This is going to be tough to get this loaded up. I need to, we may have to, we may have to honestly, what I might do is I might take the Freightliner, even though I'm going to destroy the Freightliner, I may take the Freightliner 
and just push this truck out of here with the, with this bumper because I don't care. We're going to have to restore this. The whole body's almost wrecked of this truck. We're going to have to restore this truck like crazy. The Freightliner, this is worth it for Grandpa. I don't care if we wreck the front of the Freightliner. As long as we make it back here with this truck, we're good. So I may have to try that. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to get squared up. And it's not going to do too much to the Freightliner. We're just going to push this truck. It's probably... Okay, there we go. Push, baby. Push the rear. Okay, there we go. Now, how do we get it loaded up on this trailer? I got to maneuver the trailer to come in front of the truck, put the ramps down, and then probably... You know what? I got an idea. I could pin the trailer up to this tree so that the trailer won't move while we push the truck on it. I'll see if I can move the trailer to do that. Okay, so this is the best we're going to get, probably. I have the trailer pinned up against this tree. This is probably horrible, but I'm going to push this truck all the way here, and it's going to be slow moving. We're just going to push it, move the steering wheel, push it, and we're going to get turned around and get all the way lined up with that trailer, and I'm going to try to push this truck up on this trailer. We'll see. If the wind... If I if I knew how to... If the winch worked properly, it'd be this would be a ton easier, though. Okay, there we go. Keep pushing. Now I need to see if I can get it facing the other way. Darn it. Okay, I got to crank the steering wheel over. Turn the steering wheel. There we go. And now it should... Push, 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 push. Uh, come on. There we go. There we go. Get her squared up. Okay. I got to swing around. I'll swing around here. And by the way, I didn't mean the winch. It's my it's my ability to not operate the winch. I don't want the owner of this freightliner to get mad at me. It's, it's my ability to operate the winch. That's just horrible. And I don't know how to fully operate it. Okay. So we got the truck up here. Now, I've been tapping it. It hasn't been going when I've been... If I've been just kind of tapping it from behind, it's been going up on the trailer. Right now, it's going... Oh, okay, be careful. Oh, come on, come on. Don't move, trailer. We're so close. We're so close. Come on, come on. We're just dragging this in. Let me... There we go. There we go. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. Right there. We got it up on the trailer. Yes, we got it. Okay, now what I need to do is hook up to this trailer, then kind of maneuver my way around this tree. I may, I may, dude, I may even cut down the tree. We'll just like cut it and run. Oh, dude. Okay, we got her up on... I can't believe we got it up on there. Um, unfortunately... Oh, you know what? Is that it? Oh, I thought that was like a chain hanging down from it. But we need to... Uh, we need a hook and we need to get out of here. Okay, we are leaving out of here. If I get stuck, especially now that we got this loaded up, I am going to be mad. I cannot get stuck through here. If I get stuck, this is going to be bad. This is honestly going to be horrible. We got her up here. This is it. This is it. We're halfway there. Or we're halfway done. We're halfway done and we just need to make it home now so I can start restoring this truck so i will see you guys once we get close it's gonna be another overnight stay probably sleeping in the back of here just to save some money and stuff but oh i will see you guys once we get close okay we are so close to the shop and this thing has finally found its new home after like 40 or 50 years first thing tomorrow morning i've been driving through the night so i am gonna sleep and then actually tonight i'll sleep and then tonight at like eight o'clock or something i'm gonna start working on this truck and we're going to see what we can do. Obviously, it'll take a couple of weeks and stuff to get this truck all uh, to get this truck done. And honestly, I'm not going to do much of it. I'm probably going to hire a lot of it out, hire some guys to come in here and actually work on this truck and do the job right. So uh, we are. Oh, this is crazy. I'm going to put it on the lift. I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to back off the trailer, put it on the lift and then go to bed. And then it is. Uh, oh, I can't wait to get this thing done. <laughs> we're just passing cars. Oh, man, we got to get back. Do for Grandpa Squad. Okay, uh, we gotta figure out where we're gonna back this thing up. Oh shoot, did I leave that shop door open? I might have left that shop door open. Darn it. Okay, let's get this thing unloaded, and then I can drag her in here. We'll find something to drag her in the shop with. Okay, it is on the lift, and we're ready to go. I'm gonna lift this thing up. You guys, honestly, you guys will probably see it until the project's completely done. Until we get this thing actually done, and we pull her out of the garage for the first time. After the getting this thing restored, this is going to be crazy. Well, guys, here she is, the Ford F-100. Now, the thing is... He never told me what colors the truck was. I kind of could tell by the under under the, you could kind of tell by some of the rust some of the spots weren't rusted and some of the spots were almost covered up by the the tree and you can kind of tell there's a blue here and there's a gray here. So I guess this 
and I kept every pretty much everything original. We didn't even put a tune. I put a tune. Actually, I put a tune on it. I was thinking of not putting a tune on it, and I was like, you know what? Let's tune this thing up. I think I think Pops would like it, you know? So, uh, we, we got this truck looking good. It sounds perfect. It's got the dual exhaust on the back. We got the hitch. I didn't want the hitch, to be honest. That's the one thing I didn't want is a hitch on her. The box, one thing I could have added is a service bed. I was considering adding a service bed to this truck, but she is done. Okay, of course, this is a truck I will never sell. If somebody, off, if one of you guys offer me like a billion dollars for this truck, I'm not selling it. I'm not selling it. I don't care. Money, uh, money can't buy happiness here. This is the only happiness right now. Uh, so I am not selling this truck no matter what. This will always stay on Roll Cool Customs. And I'm probably gonna, I'll probably put it out front maybe a little bit, but we'll, but we just got, we just gotta take care of this truck. We just gotta take care of this truck. Anyways, guys, this is gonna be the end. Hopefully you enjoyed it. It was something completely different. It was almost role playing stuff. If you guys did enjoy it, seriously, let me know in the comment section. And let me know by liking it. Uh, if you guys kind of enjoyed these type, uh, these type of videos. Anyways, on next Roll Call Customs, we'll be a lot more organized here. I gotta organize everything, but. If you enjoyed it uh hit that like button if you enjoyed the channel maybe consider subscribing anyways guys seriously thanks for watching